Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Jamal. I say Jamal. Jamal's the most important. Yeah, ha Hakeem is like a firecracker. He's like non-controllable. I so totally thought you was about to say Trump. <laughs> <laughs> but no, cause yeah, cause Hakeem is like a uh, like he a liability, I think. Okay, so he that he's the reason your insurance rates go out. Yes, <laughs> I mean he he didn't pee on somebody. That's R. Kelly, bro. No, no. All right, first topic of the day. Numero uno. <laughs> Tyrese Gibson getting some money from Will and Jada Pinkett Smith. Young Reese. According to Vibe, you know, if anyone offered us $5 million and the only contingency was that we had to stay away from social media, you wouldn't see us. No, that same thought process wasn't what reportedly took place when Tyrese took to Instagram Saturday and uploaded a picture of him talking on his iPhone and receiving a call from the girls trip actress, Jada Pinkett Smith. He need to charge his phone. So basically they giving him $5 million to not be on IG and the first thing he does is gets on IG. He gotta prove that. This is where all his problems is coming from. He needs to delete his Instagram, stop crying. Like, yo, I he understand he going through a struggle, right? but like, don't be publicizing that. He want the attention. I mean, I, I, just look at him. Just He he like got a teddy bear. For what? His Shayla Rocks hoodie. Uh, is proof that he t do he need validation that he knows Will and Jada Smith or something? Like, I don't he know. Like he like a movie star. I think. I think. Oh, uh, he, he did sing too. Yeah. But all right. So what he put? He put on his IG. He says sometimes you just need one phone call. I just know that God is the greatest. They don't want any love. They told me to go easy. Just he sound like DJ Khaled. Like <laughs> they motivation. Don't want, they don't want any love. They just told me to go easy. Just know that it's good to know that there's still some really nice, sincere people out here. Another one. But like, why do people gotta give you money for you to like? He do? Is he broke? Like I don't know. Like is he like that? You know. When and Kanye so he can't like, see his daughter. Is that the whole? Yeah, thing? like because they said he whooped his daughter and. Something he I'm, like I'm, like Caucasian whooped or African American. I whoop? think I think he went uh, full Caucasian on a slave African American whoop. But I'm like I don't I don't know like what the whole thing is. There's no proof that I guess he beat his daughter. They said that he was abusive to like Norma, who was like the baby's mom and wow. everything. But then like is he broke? Like is remember when Kanye say like he like fifty million dollars in debt or something? Yeah, like that? and like is that Tyrese like, or something? Like, like fifty cent too. Fifty cents that he in debt. Well, remember he went in debt and then got all his money back. All right, then he fled Floyd Mayweather, and I guess. <laughs> so like, basically, he deleted the IG post and um, like he should. And like, they just Will Smith and them just gave him five million dollars to help with the legal fees and everything. Was they was they really like giving that money to help him or to shut him up? Yes. <laughs> Like they because I, I haven't seen the crime video, but I heard all about it. Like I saw the crime video. This it, dude is in. Tears. It was a lot of reenactments too. But I'm like, he an actor, so how much of it is his acting? <laughs> like yeah, he he sang and stuff. Like he used to be in TGT, and then before that he was Tyrese. He been bald his whole baby life. Baby boy. Like, and so yeah, so baby boy, he was bald, and he got on the baby boy Shayla Rocks hoodie because he had on hoodies and baby boy. So like, I don't know. All I know is. They told him to get off social media, but well, cause my thing is when Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith tell you to do something and give you $5 million, you do it. Man, I'm about to start making some videos and tagging them. Uh, I, yeah, I'm my about name to, Will. Shit. I'm about to cry so good. <laughs> and like, how come I just need $5 million? Six, six, Will and I, want, I want a million. We need $5 million too. <laughs> with two $5 millions. And a Whopper with cheese. And a Whopper. A Whopper with cheese. No, I don't want cheese. Yeah, me neither. Nor a Whopper. So, my whole thing is... Just give it away. Would you hop off of social media? Yes. Social media? All right. I, I didn't even have to finish the question. They could have gave me $5. I'm like, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Like, just... just. Wait, you on social media tomorrow? Yeah. I mean, no, he, I, they told him to get off. Like, completely? Yeah, they don't want to see... At least during this whole trial situation, <laughs> they do not want well, to see him on because, well, like, he should take all the efforts he's given to social media and put that into the trial and what he need to do. He giving it all he got. I got to go live. Oh, right? oh, no. All I'm saying is, good luck, Tyrese. Stop crying on Instagram. Yeah, everything don't need to be on social media. It's, yeah, especially that. That's so, your life. That's not for the fans and stuff. If it, I, They can help you if they can. Give them the power to, but take care of that. 
Yeah, the right way. So, in other news, a shooting in Texas killed more than 20 people and left dozens injured at a church outside of San Antonio, Texas on Sunday, according to reports. According to the Huffington Post, a man reportedly walked into the First Baptist Church in Southern Springs around 11.30 a.m. Mm. local time and began shooting. The station citing local police reported that the gunman is dead and FBI and Texas Rangers are at the scene. So what do you think about this? Like, a gunman is reported dead, right. but they're not sure if the police shot him or if he killed himself. I think this is a testament to how lax gun laws really are in America. Yeah. Um, I mean, they can do, like, what, the test to see if they shot himself or not, but maybe if it was the same bullet. But, like a forensic? Yeah. Like, okay. But it's really dangerous and then eh, gosh we need to lock down these gun laws somehow what do you think how do you, i mean so I mean, should I'm, we have stricter gun laws like yes. uh, president obama was like, talking like about it shouldn't be it should be easier to get a gun than it is to get a job mm, mm. and i feel like a lot of people are getting guns without having the proper licensing and if you look at other countries that have lower crime rates, and, and I'm even talking, when you break down the statistics to be more proportionate, right? they have more steps that you have to go through in order to even put your hands on a gun. Yeah. And in America, it's almost like you go get your CC dubs and then you go get some, some Not guns. Not even that. You don't need a CC. I mean, yeah. Yeah. But I, yeah. Just, yeah. It's oof. I just think, I just feel like, I just feel like we need to do a better job at making sure that we're keeping people who should not have guns in their hands right. from ever touching the gun. Like, why was a dude who did the Las Vegas shooting able to get up to that hotel room with that amount of firearm power and nobody even say yeah, a nobody thing? Seen that. And then they say, I don't know, oh, well, he was he was a lone wolf, blah, blah, blah. No. It's not about that. It, it, it's not about that. And it's about being able to protect other people. You should not be able to have such a clear view of a stadium of people and just take out fire on them. Because if right. you think about it, if you think about it in this capacity too, there's no way you can duck when being shot at in From that capacity view, because yeah. it's an aerial view. So no matter where you run or what you do, unless you get out of the range of both the gun and, and the shooter's visual gun range, you're you're gonna be you're gonna be at risk for being killed. Yeah. And when it comes to just daily, uh, like, and we gotta look out for it, like stuff like that. If the person has seen that dude and they're like they didn't pay it no mind, that's us messing up as people. As we see a situation is uh, it's kind of weird or scary. Like, yeah. okay, call somebody. Say, hey, it's a guy with like you know briefcases and suitcase. Like, just. If something looks sketchy, let somebody know, good yeah. or bad. Just the whole "ain't my problem" yeah, thing yeah. is no. It even, like even if like if uh, like somebody missing or like just no, you gotta mm -mm. we gotta get it together. And a lot of people don't understand. A lot of people are killed by a lot of firearms in their own home. Like so, say you own a gun and then right. your child goes to reach for it and he kills himself, or you misuse your firearm and you kill yourself. The there, there's a gun. lot of misuse of firearms is taking place right. in America right now, and we really need to think about how we're going about that because do we is it is it really that important that you have a gun in your house to protect yourself? A but a lot of, of times you're getting killed by your own gun. A lot of people feel unsafe here. I don't know. What is y'all's thoughts on gun laws? I, I kind of want to hear about that too. Yeah, so definitely. let us know. Uh, and if you got a gun, tell us your, like, why do you got your gun? What yeah. is it for? What's the purpose? Yeah, so let us know. Like, why do you have a gun? Why do you want a gun? Why do you want to have your concealed carry so you can have uh, and what can how you, to protect what, yourself? And what can you do without a gun that's, like, needed that if you mm -hmm. even need it? And what do you feel like you can't do without the gun? Right. In order to, and that you have, that the gun is a safety factor for you. Right. According to Double XL Magazine, got himself a new ring. He doing something terribly right, I'll tell you. Yeah, because Double <laughs> XL says Quavo refuses to be outshined. The Migos member just copped some new bling in the form of a new ice stat chain that displays the catchphrase that way. I know I messed up saying iced out, but we gonna skip that. Iced out. <laughs> Hancho showed off his new shine on IG and it features the words in diamonds <laughs> bookend by two arrows 
Hello, the casino paid for it is what he captioned the photo of himself huh? wearing the chain while talking on a money phone. And this that way chain <laughs> is fresh because it looked just like Subway, except it's that, that way. way. Bruh, I think that this is this is the this is the dopest chain <laughs> in recent months. Right. And, of like getting chains. Like they And it's messed this, up that his chain is worth more than Subway the company right now. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> what dog? <laughs> No, no, Subway. People stop going to Subway. Yes, it ain't fresh no more, but. Bro, they be, they be pulling stuff out of like freezers and stuff. I'm like, how long that been in the freezer? <laughs> Man. But yeah, but with this freezer, Quavo got all the ice. No, nah, because he dripping water. Dri <laughs> so drip, drip. He all the drip drops there. Because I, I guess that's the new phrase. That they're yeah. Saying. Like, I mean, but I, this. So this, you, how are you icy and dripping water? Actually, let's, let's think about that. How are you both? Because okay, icy I'm, was like when you got right, some chains right. and well, some look, diamonds. He got the ice, right? Okay, yeah. He spit fire. And guess what? It drips. Because he's a rapper? Yeah. So if you're a normal person that's not a rapper, you cannot drip water? I mean, Cause like, unless, like your, unless your swag is hot. All right, cause are right, you a DJ, right? Yeah. Explain to me the whole slippery concept, the slippery. Slippery. It's, yeah, because all right, so because they like got new ice yeah, and they dripping no, that's, water. That's like a play on words. What? It, all right. It's, it's about the ice, no dripping. The woman, she dripping. Oh. Your style dripping. And, just, if, you and some, if, if you spill something, if you spill something on your kitchen floor, is uh, right. slippery. Yeah, but that got some of your sauce on there, so you get to just. Drop your sauce wherever you go. It's I'm like not a trail. gonna drop my new like fifty thousand. No, no, you don't drop it. But it's, it's it's like all oh, they seen me iced out that way. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Except he leaving puddles around. They see that chain. But his chain is still ice. Yeah. But it's the that's some <laughs> new water. That's what I'm saying. Like how you got how you got icy water, bro? Oh, like man. dude, we, we need Shaquille O'Neal on this one so he can. Cause like don't he got the icy hot patch? That's yeah. like both icy and hot, so maybe that's what that is, icy hot patch. Right. But then like, it's, it's, I forgot it's, all about that. <laughs> exactly. Them things did not really do anything. Bro, Shaquille O'Neal, he couldn't even look at the camera straight. He'd be like, icy hot patch. <laughs> I got a new patch. Uh, I think that defense, uh, Kobe, LeBron, <laughs> LeBron, Kobe, Charles Barkley, icy hot patch. <laughs> oh man. Oh. <laughs> So last week we asked you guys the social media mess up relationships, and we got a few responses uh, from some people they on the internet. They going in. Sierra Allen put, "Social media doesn't mess up relationships; the individuals do." Mm. I never understood couples who deleted their networks. If you can't trust your significant other to be on social media, y'all don't need to be together. Right. That's like Woo. if you can't trust them on the computer, you cannot trust them like at the strip club out in the world. Like, why? This. I mean, why? I mean, if you in a relationship, should you be at the strip club? Well, girls go to strip club all the time. What do you think, man? I heard I heard a lot about like couples going to the strip club together. Yeah. Is that like a thing? I think that's like the fishing thing where they like trying to find. Never mind. Wait, what? Nothing. <laughs> we had we had another person uh, on here. Alana Ellie said, yes, it actually messes up different relationships nowadays. Okay, so she's saying social media is a problem. Oh, no. Every single day, everyone is on their phones more likely uh, <laughs> on some kind of social website. Yes, it is true that the individual is responsible for their actions. However, if social media didn't exist, I'm pretty sure relationships would be better off without it. Uh, I, I would thoughts thoughts thoughts. Yeah. Uh, that, like, I don't know. That's that's like, oh, my car can go up to one twenty, but the speed limit sixty. Like, sh like you kind of should know what to do. Like she said, you're responsible, but just because you got that option, you don't mean to. I mean, I mean, because if in a relationship you're not just like representing yourself, you're representing your girl or your dude. So you like, you gotta make sure all, you come with your A game. Okay. Okay. Montana Rain said, people use social media to display their relationships just to prove a point. <laughs> when it should be to show your love, appreciation, and partnership with someone who will do the same for you. Yeah. Also, there's no such thing as a boyfriend boyfriend or girlfriend after the age 18. By this time, you should be building yourself. <laughs> and if someone so happens to be there through that time, let them be just that and allow God to determine if they're worthy of a partnership. Yeah, I, don't know, they, I don't know if I would agree with that second part. I would be like 40 and they got boyfriends. I don't know. Right? All right, but then what is the cut off? I, yeah, feel, like, like, I feel like if you and your what's 20s. What's pre-wife? Huh? I mean, like, like pre-fiance, I guess. That's your boyfriend or girlfriend. 
Or, yeah. You see what I'm saying? But like, it's it's not, all, I mean, you can say, oh, that's my girl, but we know that you mean girlfriend. So like, yeah. you, who, what you gonna say? This is my partner, my life partner. My, or like, but it's not even a life partner unless you make that your wife or your husband. Yeah, that's it. Or yeah. like, it's, I feel like so we should you, we should come out with a new like like after boyfriend and girlfriend, but before fiance. Romantic partner? That's what I mean. That's what it is. That's so, that's like little friend. Like <laughs> like uh, who's oh, that's my little friend? Yo <laughs> yo. No, that's like, why you shouldn't bring people around your parents. Cause like yo, yeah, even parents, even if you like thirty five and you broke up with somebody. Right. They ask like, so what happened to and, your and they'll, friend? And they'll break your heart. They'll be like, what happened to Ty Chandre? And, and then like, you sitting here like Tyrese talking to your mama. <laughs> I just don't know what happened. Oh my God. <gasps> <laughs> why they gotta do me like this? Uh, I need five million dollars from Will and Jada <laughs> so I can get me a chain like Quavo. I wonder if they giving their kids that never mind. I'm just yeah, I think uh, Will and Jada giving Willow and Jaden, and they got a son who like not as famous. Yo, yo, or something like that. But uh, the Jaden, but no, it's like an older son that like is not Jada's kid or something. Oh, so yeah. he's not as famous because oh. like America doesn't care about him. Oh, he's still just as relevant. I mean, no, he's not. That stop. You trying to you trying look, to look, like, look, the children is our future. Well, he grown now. Yeah, but Will and Will and Jada's children that are Jaden and Willow are more important than that <laughs> other son. Or whatever child they got another child that we don't know who he is. Yeah. I'm sure we can find out, but why Google? Well, like, it? what's the what's the son on Empire that wasn't important? The uh, Andre. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, on Emp- like you got you got you got everybody know Jamal. All right. Everybody know Hakeem because he out here trying to be fake tough, and then you got Andre who was like, <laughs> oh, I just want Pop to be proud of me. Yeah. I want Pop. Is that still on? That's your song. Yeah, I'm sure it's on. But like, why every other scene he like Pop. I'm like, stop, please, just say dad, man. Like, he be like, pop, pop. Wait, like, he was the first one, though, wasn't he? Yeah. Okay. He, and, it, and it messed up to be first and least important. Yeah, that's exactly, terrible. Exactly, because he can't sing. That's why. And, and he can't <laughs> rap. So, question of the day. I know it differs between, like, partner and everything, but this is for in general. Yeah. What are ways to go about spoiling your partner so if you're a man what's the ways to go about spoiling your women or woman unless you got multiple women right. and if you're a woman Play how it. to go about spoiling your man or you know let's not even gender it. what's the way about uh, what's the way to go about spoiling your partner period that can apply across the board the funniest one, I'm gonna just say this randomly, how girls be like, oh, I don't know what to give my man, I'm gonna get him like some cologne or a watch. But I'm like, that's just so basic. And that mean that's not knowing your man. Yeah. But we talk in general though, right? Yeah, so but- isn't that right? We talk, we're talking about general spoiling. Cause that's like getting your dude who read books 2K. Like he don't want 2K. Like he want. That. But that's but that's but that's what I'm saying. I'm talking yeah, about in well, general though. But to 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 serve your partner, you gotta really know him, and you gotta like give him something from within, not just like oh this is a gift. Like it gotta be like personal to him. Like it gotta matter. All right, all right. I feel like that. Yeah, like, I think in general, cause I'm gonna try to make this across the board for everybody. Right. The best way to go about spoiling your partner is taking them with you when you're going to do things like say you're going shopping or mm-hmm. say you're going to the store or say it's like this cool little concert that you you had planned to just go to but then you're like oh i should take my partner with me or something like that right. just bringing them along and having them to be a part of your activities right. that's one of the best ways to spoil them because you spending time with that person and they're they're getting a view into what your life is like because people don't understand sometimes the things that you might find mundane or monotonous are the things that your partner thinks is really special because they're seeing a glimpse of who you are outside of just romantically. Like, this is my partner right, right. in, in the right sense. In the game. Yeah, you should never keep your partner on the bench, man. Keep them on the field with you. Exactly. Unless you bench. Because but then they need to be on the bench with you. With you so. Right. And then who controls the power? Like, do the girl always got the gig to go to or like... The dude always got the inspiring ideas, so. I feel like, I feel like I, y'all, as long as y'all compliment each other, you see yeah, what I'm saying? It's not yeah. supposed to be like one person here and one person here. I don't think the man should be in front of a woman or, you know, the woman in front of a man. But as long mm-hmm. as y'all compliment each other appropriately right. and you guys are able to give each other a glimpse of whatever your life is and include each other. if you When you're actually able to include your partner, mm-hmm. I'm telling you, it's going to be dope. It's a beautiful thing. Practice I, it. Practice it. Pra- Practice? Yeah, Wait, practice. you got, you practice inclusion? No, that's like I'm telling telling them to practice it. Oh, pra- yeah. yeah. Don't. These these 
No, just, no love left behind. Ex I see you with like the no child left behind. No left. You, you went back to the Bush era. The, 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 the secondary the George Bush. W. Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. This is Will Talk. Yeah. And make sure that if you like what you're seeing, you like, comment, subscribe, turn on those push notifications, All that. and follow us at the Q Brand and us respectively at Willie B Music. And it'll like Will. We out.